Greetings, Arkansas Farm Bureau. My name is Justin Blackburn. I'm the Vice President of the Greene County uh, Farm Bureau Board of Directors. Uh, I also uh, farm with my younger brother and I work for the uh, Farm Service Agency for the USDA. Uh, so I'm pretty involved in all aspects of agriculture. It's all, it's all I've ever known. Uh, I love it. Uh, something I thoroughly enjoy and it's what I want to spend the rest of my life doing if, if the good Lord sees fit for that. Um, I, I wanted to hop on today and, and tell you a little about my uh, operation and what's going on um, kind of during this time of the year and, and, and how our uh, operation has been affected by everything going on. Um, first I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I, uh, like I said, I farm with my younger brother. We farm about 1,600 acres uh, here in east of Paragold. We're right on the Arkansas and uh, Missouri state line. Um, it's just about a quarter mile over that way, actually. Uh, we're right on the St. Francis River. Um, uh, last year, we grew cotton, corn, rice, soybeans, and sesame seed. And this year, we'll probably have a combination of the same if, if it... Uh, uh, ever gets to that point um, you know it's starting to kind of get serious now's the time we would normally be working ground and, and thinking about planting corn um, but you know it's uh, we like most of Arkansas we've been getting hit uh, hit with the uh, pretty hard rains seems like every other day but that's that's kind of how it goes in the life of a of a farmer um, we are eighth generation farmers. We took over the farm from our dad who passed away three years ago. Um, so we're, we're sort of, both of us are, are really just learning. Uh, we're, we're trying to kind of, you know, learn on the fly, I guess. Uh, it's, it's, there's been difficult times and with the, um, you know, the challenges that all of the agriculture community are facing, it's, it's just not been easy. Um, we're, we're dealing with the, um, you know the uncertainty in the markets uh, pretty much throughout the market uh, we're dealing with the the crazy weather patterns that we've been seeing over the years um, we're dealing with the you know the labor shortage we're you know it's it's just hard to hard to get to, you know it's hard to find good help and and, and now we've, we've got this virus uh, thrown into the mix that's not only you know um, Affect in Arkansas, but the the whole world, and it's it's just a crazy thing to watch. Uh, you know how everything has pretty much shut down, uh, but the the fact of the matter is that agriculture can't shut down. The world relies on it. The world needs it. It's a critical part of our infrastructure, uh, not just here but worldwide. Um, so the farmers are going to be counted on in these next few weeks and months to pick up the slack and and to sort of bring hope to the people. Um, so that's that's kind of a, the important thing for uh, for farmers to um, to know that they're going to be counted on and expected to step up and be leaders in their communities, um, in in you know in in their cities, <clears throat> and and just uh, you know kind of be an example for agriculture. This is a perfect opportunity to show them what we can do. Um, you know what we all know we're capable of. Of doing anything and we, we show that year in and year out but but now the whole world it's it's kind of gonna be uh, you know a big part of the rebuilding I guess you could say of the uh, you know of the planet it is is you know food fiber and and uh, the like so uh, you know I guess if I had any sort of advice um, if, if I were going to be talking to anybody and give any sort of advice, I would speak to young farmers and ranchers. And I would tell them that uh, if you farm with your dad, your grandpa, your uncle, um, you know, close with a neighbor or whatever, just listen to what they have to say. Um, they've been through these things before. They've been through the markets ups and downs. They've been through droughts. They've been through storms. They've been through everything. Um, so just listen to them. They know how to get through it. They're they're resilient. Um, 
there's a reason they're still farming and it's and 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 just listen to what they have to say and learn from it uh, just glean that information and, and store it and use it and then pass it down to your own uh, next generation of farmers uh, so anyways just uh, thought I'd give a quick update hopefully we can get in the field soon and, and um, I'm hoping everybody can have a safe and bountiful harvest for 2020 if it ever gets to that point uh, we all know it will um, pretty soon that ground's gonna dry up and and it's gonna be uh, everybody's gonna be going 90 to nothing but uh, um, just realize that your job is is it's very important and and to you know to keep it up uh, and to show let's show what what we can do thank you